welcome to another video about AuditZoo. And in this video today, I'm going to give you a look around AuditZoo. So at the top of AuditZoom, you've got different headings. You've got financial reporting, data verification, purchase to pay, order to cash, inventory, fixed assets, human resources, treasury, and you've also got an area for your own customized dashboards. So let's have a look. Inside the first dashboard, you can see we've got the general ledger compared to the trial balance. This is one of my favorite tests because we do it every single time at the start of any data analytics. We want to make sure that we've got our data correct. We didn't import it on the wrong date and we didn't include things that are not posted. If you have done all of that and it practically always matches, you might see one or two peaks in the year and it could really be a real exception. So if we pick a big peak and then we go down and you can see that we've got a nice detailed table at the bottom. So when we're making audits in, we like to make our tables in a nice, easy to read format so that you can see all the information that you need. So going on to another really interesting dashboard that we can use is uh, general ledger accounts that are obsolete. So if you are looking to see whether or not people are posting on general ledger accounts that are now obsolete, maybe they got deleted or something, then you can use this dashboard and you can see who is posting to those accounts in the pie chart. And then down below, you actually get the document number. So you get the company code, the fiscal year and the document number. And those are the things that actually help you to look up these uh, exception lines in SAP. Now, going on to something else, which is really key that everybody always asks us for, is the difference between the posting date and the document date. So often we want to know, did we post things in the wrong period? So if we want to know if we post something in the wrong period, then we can compare the fiscal year and we can see where we have a fiscal year that's different for the posting date compared to the document date. And then if we click on the graph, we can actually see the values for that. And then if we go down to the detail table, we can see all of the transactions for which the document date and the posting date are actually in completely different fiscal years. And this could get you a nice fine from the taxman if you don't recognize it in time. So this is something everybody is always asking us for because obviously you have a lot of tax controls going out there and uh, probably this is an immediate risk and it's probably just a mistake. But if it's not a mistake, you want to ask that person in your pie chart, why have they been posting such crazy things in different years? So you might want to phone them up and give them a call. Now, going on to the next dashboard, which is one of the most, I'd say, top 10 dashboards that we always get asked for is retroactive POs. It's a really lovely dashboard because it's so easy to do. You just compare the PO date to the invoice date. And if you find POs that are entered on the same date as the invoice, or they're even entered before the invoice, then you kind of know that your purchasing process wasn't followed, right? Because it means that nobody actually entered the purchase order and then tried to get the approval, get the approval, send off the request to the supplier, wait for the goods receipt, and then after that you get the invoice. Okay, another one which is very easy to do and a lot of people asking us for in retail is sales orders that have zero value. So if you wanna make sure that you don't have lots of products out there on the black market and that are for free, then you wanna look for sales orders that have zero value. And this one will really help you to know uh, whether or not you've got products out there floating around on the black market. So that was it and thank you very much for listening. If you want any customized dashboards, recent ones that we've been doing is process mining and plant maintenance. So uh, if you're interested in process mining, there's so much out there on the web and there are a lot of companies that are selling process mining. We can do it for you within Audit Zoom, and you will see that it helps you to identify so many issues, including retroactive POs, but also stuff to do with user separation of duties. Mm -hmm.